Hi, I'm Todd Wente and this is The Daily 180. 180 seconds of motivation and inspiration intended to help you take action and improve your life. This is episode 217 of The Daily 180 and today I want to talk about pens. Actually, I'm probably going to be spending a couple of the next episodes talking about pens and there's a reason for it, but let me get there. Um, I, I, wanted, I wanted to talk about pens because for me, pens have been a big part of my life. Now, I know that sounds a little bit kind of funny, and you might say, well, they have been for me too. I get a big pen every time I turn around and go to the grocery store, or, you know, pens are a giveaway for me too. I always am finding myself with a new giveaway. I, I'm not talking about that kind of pen. I'm talking about the kind of pen that you go out of your way to look for and to find. Now, it's a small thing, but it started with me, it started for me uh, back in about 1988. There was a pen that I bought, a pen and pencil set. It was while I was traveling in England, and it was called the Vector. It was a push push top pen, uh, ballpoint pen with a push top mechanical pencil. I think it cost all of about seven dollars. Uh, but I had that pen set with me for a number of years, and then I lost the pen. And I don't know about you, but when you've had something that is meaningful to you, and when you've had something that has some kind of a connection to you when you lose it, it's worth finding. So I spent a lot of time trying to find it. And when I realized that I wasn't gonna find it at all, I decided to go out and replace it. Now keep in mind, this is a $7 pen set. So the pen itself was probably three or $4, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't find a replacement for it everywhere. I, I loved the pen and it was one of my all time favorites, but I couldn't find a replacement for it. I had some other pens, but that one was special to me. It was special to me because of the memories, because of the things that I had found along the way. Well, eventually, after uh, several days of calling the Parker Company, because it was a Parker pen, Parker Vector, and of calling all of the local pen shops in the state of Utah, including ones that were 50 and 60 miles away, I finally found the replacement. Why am I sharing this story with you? Well, first off, to give you an idea of a little bit how crazy I can be about pens, but second off, because it helps me understand that sometimes, even though things may be small to us, they're meaningful. Or maybe it's better to say, even though they may be small to the world, they can be extremely powerful. If there are little things that you find yourself chasing and everybody else around you says, what are you doing? Just look at them and say, it's my pen. They may not get it, but I certainly would. My name is Todd Wente. This has been The Daily 180. Go forth and conquer. Have a great day. If you love what we're, to, what we're doing here, uh, then give us a thumbs up. Give us a share. Give us a like. If you really like it, give us a subscribe. But boy, whatever you do, have a magnificent day. We'll see you next time.